Welcome to Two Finger Spirits. We got Pete. Hello. James. Hello. Camera shy, camera guy. I'm back here. He's back. And I'm Brando. <laughs> back. And what are we drinking? We are drinking uh, Hill Rock Estate Solera Aged Bourbon. Solera Aged Bourbon. And this is finished, I believe, in an Oloroso cask. Now, James, why don't you tell us what Solera is? So, I had to look this up real quick. <laughs> you just threw me under the bus. Right? <laughs> so, Solera is a stack of bourbon barrels where a small portion of the whiskey is removed, right. and then they're periodically adding more to it. So, the barrels are never emptied. No, I'm laughing at the <laughs> So, that so that's exactly is, is what it is. Gosh, so it, it's, I think it's to keep consistency in the next batch of bourbon. Yeah, so I mean, it's never emptied. Um, Almost like an infinity. It does increase in time, obviously, but we, you know, age statement right. for the barrels, obviously, right. they can't do that. But um, it's a pretty neat concept, though. Yeah, it is kind like of cool. Like an infinity bottle. Kind, kind, kind of like similar. that. Kind of, right? Yeah. So, Hill Love Rock, the color. So, Hill, yeah, Hill, nice Rock, color. Hill Rock is outside of, out of New York, correct? Yeah, and I hear the estate is gorgeous, gorgeous. and you go up to the distillery, yeah, and I, yeah. I hear it's really yeah, a hidden like gem. Like the whole, like, outdoor patio. Yeah, kind of thing, I hear it's man. fantastic. It's I'd love they, to take a road trip. Hudson Valley, New York. Yeah. yeah, that's not too far away from no, no, definitely, definitely, yeah. yeah, we can definitely go. Do around. they distill their own, or are they are like an MGP they, product? I, I believe they distill their own. And you know, nice. uh, well, they do source some, so and they, source. they are distilling their own, but I think they're kind of, I, I don't know, I think they're just still making some of their own some juice. Yeah. And, um... The thing about them is uh, Dave Pickerel, I think his name was, was from Maker's Mark. Maker's Mark is, is he's there, kind of the master distiller, uh, yeah. I think, right? Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So um, if we go up to this place on our way back, we could hit Litchfield, which yeah. is a bourbon we're going to review next. Yeah. I really want to cool. go to Litchfield. Or we can stop in New York City and do, well, what you call it, do, um, what's the guy, uh, what's, what's the bourbon in New York City? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, I know oh, what you're talking about. about. Uh, Kings County. Kings County, Kings yeah. County. okay. There you go. Well, then maybe we Make should just real... do like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday road drive back Monday. There you go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and do that. So so this one is is, a, is 113.8 proof, so a little bit of a high proof here. Yeah. Uh, no age statement on it. No. Yeah. The match bill is undisclosed. Yeah. Right. Um, it's got a beautiful color, though. Does it say what was age, uh, how long was age in the sherry cast for? It, no. The old rosa, you mean? Yeah. Finished? It doesn't say. It doesn't? No. no. What a beautiful Someone color. said that uh, huh, the current, current average age of the Hill Rock Solero Bourbon is over six years. Okay. And the rye content is approximately 37. Little I got that rye. from Breaking Bourbon. I don't know where they got it from. You're right? Yeah. Oh, they said it from their website. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Pretty it's, neat. It's nice color. It's amber. I love gorgeous. the color. Yeah. Dark. Um, Darker. Mm. I got like candied dry fruit. Let's see, honey. Yes, I, dear? I get a little honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little honey. I definitely get some fruit. And a little clove. I get some spiciness. I get spice, I get. Um, you know, it's. it's uh, mm. I definitely get. Tangerine. The the finishing of the Oloroso, I, I know, is not, is not dominant here, but I do kind of get a little bit of that oaky, like like a, like a wine barrel finish. Like a sweet sherry? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, probably the candy dry fruit yeah, I was yeah. picking up on. Mm. And the alcohol's not too high, you know. No, for no, I'm not getting a booziness no. or ethanol or anything like that on it. No, for 113, it's really uh, not uh, ethanol. It's a big bug. Thing pleasant nose though. Yeah, it is pleasant. Yeah. MSRP on this one is about 90. Well, I think it's a little higher. A little higher. Yeah, I think I paid about a hundred. About a hundred. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, interesting bottle too. I mean, it's beautiful different. bottle. Yeah. I like the bottle a lot. Yeah. Well, I gotta taste this. Cheers. I'll give it a show for it. Why not? Cheers. Cheers. Kind of like a graham cracker. Mm. Yeah? yeah? I got graham cracker. I, I, I get that. Yeah, I can see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I get a little oakiness. I definitely get a little dryness, a little yeah. oakiness. Dry oak. Um, I get a little sweet dry fruit. Yeah, like um, candy, like yeah, like, like uh, almost like a candy date or something like that, like a mm. like really gummy kind of like a, yeah, you know, dates. <clears throat> a little hot on the swallow. <clears throat> you get a little spice. You do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like cinnamon. You get like a little bit, it's like it's dry powder, <clears throat> almost dry something dry powder. It really spicy. <clears throat> You're getting um, something similar to cinnamon on the on the finish, and still that sweetness still carries through on the finish. I mean, I'll make like something like that. Well, like, it's definitely got 
It's almost like a, like the cinnamon you would put on cinnamon toast. It's a little like sugar. It's like, like a powdered. Like, mm. like, and and yeah. a little sweet. Me, like it's yeah. a, got it's me, it's very oily. Mm. Very oily. For yeah. me. It covers the tongue. And yeah. Real nice. It's thick. Yeah, it does have that, that sugar cinnamon. Like you, mm. you ever do like those... Uh, those uh, pumpkin ales, and you do the cinnamon. Oh, you know, oh yes. Yeah. Yeah, like, okay. When they do that during the fall, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the festivals and stuff. That's that's what it's got for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's um, <clears throat> kind of a short finish though. A little short. I mean, I I, I still have short ling to medium, lingering, yeah. lingering ling dryness, mm. but but as far as the flavors for me, um, it's a little. Yeah, short. you're right. Yeah. Like I get very uh, I get the oil residue, yeah. very oily. Mm. A little dryness at the end, and like, uh, an and abrupt then, finish. An abrupt finish to like some of the nice, like the candy fruit. Yeah, it, um, it's an oily. I can see it. It's it's holding, it's hugging the glass very well. It's uh, excellent. It's good. I, I like, think you it's like excellent. it. Excellent. Do, do you get like a again like a powdered cocoa? Hmm. No, not cocoa. I mean, I get a little bit, a little bit like a little bit of tartness, I guess, from the oak. Is that what they get? Sweet or sweet or dry? It's dry. A little bitter, hmm. maybe a little bitter cocoa. <clears throat> I think from for me, I get I'm more getting like a, it's like a cocoa or a chocolate, something like 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 that, uh, like a dark chocolate though, like a bittersweet chocolate. Yeah, it's not but sweet powder. though. It's but, but it's not it's not sweet. Right, like baker's chocolate, a little, chocolate? little, bitter, <clears throat> a little bitter chocolate. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere in between bitter and just a dark chocolate. Okay, for me. Uh, no, palette. It's, uh, the palette's very pleasant. I, I'm enjoying the palette very much. Um, to yeah. me, the, the finish is a little, little something <clears throat> desired. I mean, I wish, I wish some of the palette kind of carries from the finish a little longer. Yeah, I do too. It's good. It's good. I didn't love it the first time yeah. I tried it, but I like it this time, probably because I'm enjoying it with you yeah, guys. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, this, yeah. Is, this is excellent. Now, how, how long has it been up for about? You know, uh, a I got week it or two? last week, so maybe about a week. Okay. Ago. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you did a good job on it. You were thirsty. Two straws in a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'd be interested more to try the the Hill Rock that's not it's finished. Not finished? Yeah. yeah, and then see the difference between the two. Right. And my, know, my buddy picked up that. I'm one sure too. this. I, I'm sure with I, with I, the yeah. finish, it smooths it out a little bit. So maybe I, it's I a, think that that Oloroso finish does kind of even it out. I mean, it kind of you know, it, um, but it, I think it does infuse a little bit of that dry that oak, candy fruit, right? A little bit mm -hmm. of candy fruit in there. Because um, it is it is lingering a little bit, like yeah, a little bit of that that candy fruit. Mm. I get those pencil shavings. Do you? Yeah. That's what I get for saying that. All of a sudden, every day. Tastes, <laughs> right, I mean, right. I know. I must have tasted some pencil shavings as a kid, and mm. something who didn't? Like, who didn't? Almost right? get a little sweet tobacco, I think. Really, on the palate or nose or on the palate? I could see a little more leathery for me. Yeah. But I think as the more I sip on this, I think the more flavors kind of come through. Mm. Um, yeah, this is something like yeah. That. I bet you if we went back to this later on or the next day, and I, we're gonna see some more. I think this is something. This is our first time having it. yours. Your second, so, so or, third. or third or fourth, fourth or fifth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the bottle. I just do. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but I think this is something as you as you sit with it and sip it for a little while. I think you start to pick up more notes in it. Yeah, uh, for sure. I think just a few minutes we've been talking here about it. Um, it's changed a little bit for me. I'm, it's getting a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, my, my, it's evolving, my, right? My palate is adjusting, and I'm getting a little bit more out of it. I think it's it's pretty interesting for us. Yeah, and realistically, we sip these down pretty quick when we talk. Yeah. You know, right. we right. would sit with this for a good, you know, 20 minutes, half hour, yeah. And, we, yeah. and we'd probably be able to enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. If, if right. the camera was off and we did another part of this, we're going to see something a little bit different. Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. But also because our palate is changing a little bit as we're drinking yeah. this. Yeah, no, it's very enjoyable. Um, oh, but I, I, it's good. I like it. Um, I don't know if I would spend the money for it. Yeah. I think the uh, the bottle is really attractive. I, I, it I, is. I, I, I like the bottle. It looks good on a bar for sure. Uh, I don't know if I would I'd make the $100 investment on it. Yeah, and that's a nice, beautiful fat cork. cork. It's a fat a, cork. And it's a real cork, too, right? Real it's not cork. Cork. Uh, it's a synthetic cork. You like a nice fat cork, right? I do. You, yes, yes. <laughs> I heard that about you. He's that kind of guy. You, was it cork? Cork. Yeah, cork. It was right. cork. Synthetic. It was cork. Yeah, it was cork. This guy. But um, no, I, I like it. I, I don't know if I would, I would spend 100 on it if I saw it. Yeah, I'd, I'd find it hard to to do that again too. I, I'm happy I tried it. No, it's it's, it's good. It's the, enjoyable. I think the longer it can, longer we, we sip on it, the more. Yeah, I'm getting more of that dark chocolate type. Yeah. To me, I would definitely buy a, another bottle from them. Maybe not this one. I, I agree. I would like, to, I, you know, I would definitely like to try the regular. Do you know why I picked this one? Because you want to overpay. You like the big cork. We do. He does like to overpay, and he does like to. This was the highest proof. 
of, of the, the well, bugs they have. Well, that makes sense because we do like Honestly, higher proof. Honestly, if yeah. this was if this was a hundred proof, I don't know if I would like it as much. Right. Mm. So, but right. this doesn't drink like it's a no. hundred and change. One thirteen. I mean, one thirteen, one fourteen. Doesn't taste like no. that. though. This tastes but actually I, more like but ninety, but if this, ninety-five. But if this, was, if this was watered down a little more to about a hundred proof. I don't think we get near the flavor that we're right. getting right now. You're probably right. That's you know? probably a good statement right there. Yeah, yeah I think it's fair, so, right? Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. You know, yeah. but uh, it's, I think it's worth picking up and trying it. Right. And I'll try more by them. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna no, get I would another definitely try another product for them for sure. Yeah. You know? You keep buying those $100 bottles and we'll keep drinking them. them. Yeah, why not, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, this is, this is uh, no, it's, but you know, it's nice because I, I think we all pick different things. We all have different tastes yeah. and flavors, so it's nice to have some variety. Well, you know what's yeah. pretty cool, too, is... And you learn a lot from being around. And, and you do see people. a lot of people posting that they pick up a bottle or, hey, should I buy at this price and stuff like that. So it is popular. You know, it's not like an unknown no, company. definitely not. Um, especially in the East Coast since they are up in our area. Yeah, right. So, you know, you yeah. do see a lot of people on some of those Facebook pages that we follow and mm -hmm. stuff that say, hey, should I buy it at this price? Um, now I know yeah. what it tastes like. You know, I'm going to... It's, it's, it's pretty say, good. You know, it's yeah. a good pour. Yeah, it's good. It's good, but I don't know if it's it, 110. It's, yeah, it's a little or... overpriced, maybe. I think I like the fact... I wish I knew the match build. I do like the, the fact that I think we, we think it's a little higher rye build. Mm. Well, we, we think it's, it's you said around maybe thirty-seven. Uh, yeah, that was according to what was it, Breaking Bourbon? I okay. Think, uh, uh, or their website. Their website. Breaking Bourbon said yeah. that was from their website. Okay. Um, but but yeah, eh, it is, you know. Well, it's if, decent. If, if you had it before, we'd love to know what you think. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, comment. Don't forget, comment, like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. Um, Please do that. And yeah. Uh, yeah, go to YouTube, and watch the videos. Watch the videos. Watch past videos. Comment on those as well. Sure. We appreciate it all. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks, yeah, everybody. Cheers. cheers.